Here we go everybody, welcome back to the channel. Matthew Schnoes, the Gold Crease Guardian, with a short one coming to you. Uh, lost a lot of the footage in this one in my hard drive disaster, but we'll bring to you what we can and I'll explain the rest. Let's go. So I lost the vast majority of this footage to my hard drive um, being damaged and that's unfortunate because this was a good game. First game of the year for the Friday Night Polar Bears playing against Juicebox and uh, we're off to a hot start in the first minute of this game scoring on our first shot uh, from the point. That's the kind of stuff you like to see. Um, let's see if we can keep it going and uh, I'll kind of fill you in on stuff as we go through because there's definitely some stuff missing. In fact, the entire second period is, is missing. That was not my best puck handling move and that's a weird poke check. We're gonna get away with it. And this net is just everywhere. This was a recurring problem in this game. This net just was moving all over the place. The pegs were awful on this night for some reason don't really remember why. I just know that they didn't stay. I think that the game before us had created some holes and there was just no chance for me to uh, to do anything about it. Good save on the cutback. I made a couple of good saves on cutbacks already in this one. Um, Juicebox was moving in this one. They had a full roster, bunch of young guys out there and uh, Tate's doing stuff like that at the point. That's gonna help them with the offense for sure. On top of the fact that I lost a bunch of footage to the hard drive disaster, my one camera wasn't working in this game either. So we were just dealing with all sorts of technical issues. This is one of those things where early in the season, I just like, I can't catch a break with technology. So, <laughs> We're doing a lot of different things here. Good stop here on this one, just being out and square to a guy who's just one on O in a non-dangerous scoring area. Maybe not the advised way to play that, but it worked. Good defense there. They got a little narrow on that attack, so it makes it easy for the defender, but good defense anyways, making sure that they don't get a chance and uh, can't really do any harm there. Again, you can see me doing a good job being square to those guys in bad angle areas, trying to be a little bit better about being patient as I sit in an RVH for a while. But uh, you know, we're trying to do those things and we're also up two nothing. So that is really good. That's a great, Great first period for us. Good stick on that one. Getting that rebound away. If that rebound hits, or that initial shot hits my pad and kicks out to him, he might have a chance to tuck that. So getting a stick on it, getting it up into the netting is huge. And you know how I said I didn't have the second period? Yeah, none of it, absolutely gone. Um, this is now interrupting in the middle of the third period <laughs> where we're coming out to this one. Um, and a couple of good saves, keeping that puck there, not allowing things through. Um, at the uh, ooh, at the other end, I think that one hit him and the post to stay off. That's uh, that's tight. Good stop again. They're keeping guys wide really well. Good stick there, and then that's just moving all over the place. This is ridiculous. But defense doing a good job keeping guys wide, not allowing them to get into that scoring area super easy. So you love it when stuff like that's happening because it makes your job a lot easier. Just trying to use that goal line to help me give myself a little bit of space when playing that puck. Did a good job of it and uh, still turned it over because of course I did. <laughs> Oops. Now, it says three to nothing on the scoreboard. I believe that's what it was, but I'm not sure. We might have scored one in the second. Um, we might have scored one in the lost footage of the third period here. I can't remember. Either way, 
We're up three to nothing. We're up a few here, and I haven't given anything up yet. Playing really, really nicely, actually, in this game. Seeing a fair amount of shots. I've got it at 16 right now, but there was a bunch in that second and third period that's kind of lost. Here's a nice little scramble play. This first one through traffic hits me in the shoulder. Gonna be hard to control that. And then from there, just staying down, making that save, pad down, maybe a little bit reachy, but it works to keep that puck out and keep them off the scoreboard. So those are two things that we really enjoy seeing um, pretty much every time. Um, this will be the shortest game footage I've posted on the channel for sure. I estimated out the shots for both teams, gave us a few more on each side. Um, I think that this was about right. Normally, this is what our games look like against them. Both teams like to shoot the puck a lot. I think that, I mean, we controlled the puck for a fair amount of it. Ended up being a four to one final. I felt that I played really, really well in this one. Um, keeping those numbers from what was expected in the numbers that had been posted in this game. So the 20 shots that I faced in this game footage, those expected numbers and goal save numbers are what you see there. Um, from there, just did a really good job making saves. Um, the goal that I gave up in this one was a little bit of a mini breakaway where I gave up a rebound and Owen, on Owen and he was able to pick it up and go around me and tap it into the net. So. That was middle to late third period when we were already up four to nothing. Um, just at that point lost the shutout, which kind of stinks, but it is what it is. Can't always control that. And uh, happy with the start. That's a three and zero start to the 2023-2024 season. That is easy for me to say. That's also a one no start for the Polar Bears on Friday night, which is awesome. And uh, we've got a Sunday night game coming up next. We are rolling, we are almost not, I can't say almost, we are slowly catching up on the footage, but that's the first three games. There's a lot more where that came from, so please make sure you head down below, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, so you know when I'm uploading videos. I have so much content to bring you still. I have a solid five weeks of games to bring you. I'm looking forward to it, it's a lot of fun. And uh, I'll see everybody in the next one.